I'm home cold, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around back when I was That was happy, man. You know, his, his expectation, man. We couldn't even put no limits on that for one. And it surprised me because of his educational aspect of mm -hmm. it, you know, reading and studying, mm -hmm. you know, the ins and outs and the highs and the lows of this thing called entertainment and, and then life itself, you know, the books he, he was reading, mm -hmm. you know. I, I didn't know early on that he was so, you know, in tune with uh, himself, you know, mm -hmm. even though he was, when I, met, when I met him, you know, of course he was, he was on the front line, you know, he was hustling, banging, cripping, but pursuing his music, and he looked up to me, you know. Mm -hmm. You met him in the neighborhood yeah, or through the, the industry? Oh, okay. In the, in, not the industry, mm -hmm. neighborhood first, you know. I had a friend named uh, Snake and Dave, a professional dancer out of out of Watts, you know, that told me about him. I said, man, he right in your backyard, in your hood, you know. You should check him out. He's making a lot of noise. So me being so uh, thrusted in, in, in this industry and, I gotta understand that if you're gonna keep your ears to the streets, you know, you must listen to anything and everything as much as you can. But I was almost like a late bloomer as a legend, uh, adopting that element to doing doing music because at that time I was still trying to retool me and get me back in perspective with my mm -hmm. business. You know, mm -hmm. I, I took a, a a fall from grace mm -hmm. in, in this music industry because of my personal get down, but. Mm -hmm. No, and it was a perfect time for me to to get to know him or someone out of my neighborhood because I had a few homies that was in a group with me that was from the neighborhood, and uh, one of them got killed, and the other one, you know, you know, he went through some personal things. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's kind of, you know, my inspiration was kind of crazy. You know, my grandmother had passed at that time. You know, mm -hmm. I had to be there for my mother and man up on the so it's a whole lot of different things going on but mm -hmm. i still was enthused you know doing music i, I didn't give up on music i just mm -hmm. wasn't <clears throat> wasn't all the way there with mm -hmm. being inspired to produce someone or mm -hmm. break an artist and that was a, that was another thing with battle cat I, I i had to understand that for me to really make it make it like dre or anyone mm -hmm. that does this you have to break an break artist, artist right? yeah. grab one mm -hmm. give him everything he need educate him groom him lace him mm -hmm. give him the best songs possible and and get the right relationships and opportunities to, to you know to, mm -hmm. to captivate the the, the uh, opportunity or whatnot so he can he he gets a message that i'm looking for him mm -hmm. and um uh, we after we visited his house and he wasn't there and uh, a few days later he pulled up in front of my house he already knew where I lived that was crazy came by himself <laughs> uh, yeah I said damn man he reminded me so much of my brother my brother rest in peace you know has the mm -hmm. same persona and aura mm -hmm. of him tall slinky like Snoop or whatnot mm -hmm. he gets out I meet I greet him in my on my front lawn and hey what's up big homie I love your work mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I'm in this shit. I'm making mixtapes. I want in. Can you help me? I would love to work with you. And uh, we exchanged numbers. And then for me, I was just watching, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't really know him. And mm -hmm. I wanted to check out his pedigree mm -hmm. in the streets, you know. So I didn't really go to too many people to check him out. But uh, uh, an OG in my hood named Big D said, Caddy Solid, you know, he making noise. You know, you should, you should fuck with him. So uh, it took me a while because I was prideful and private, at least I thought I was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that all the, the surroundings, you know, his the people, the art, you know, the, not the artist, but the company that he keep, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know a lot of these, the young G's that yeah. was becoming yep. uh, affiliates, if not active yep. bangers, and he had a lot of them around him. And yep. I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't need a pass. I don't yeah. need him to protect me and tell me. Tell them that I'm good mm -hmm. and I'm one hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of that. You know, he, he has some, he has some, some hard hitters around him, and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I just watched him indirect just to see how his flow mm -hmm. was going to be. You know, how was he? What was what was going to be his 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 business business etiquette and mm -hmm. and getting into the field? How was he going to put Crippen and being from Rolling Sixty? in perspective mm -hmm. to where it wouldn't overthrow mm -hmm. him coming into an industry. So I had mm -hmm. to watch. So I didn't participate for yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. He And he was progressing, you know, mm -hmm. the, the Crenshaw clothing line, the T's, the Sloss and T's, you mm -hmm. know, all that. I was like, wow, you know, it, it should have made me go. But mm -hmm. like I said, I was going through some shit. And I didn't want them to see mm -hmm. what how much I was going through. So I, mm -hmm. just, I just kept watching and watching and watching until mm -hmm. one day I got a call. It was like, cat. I'm, 
I'm bubbling, making some noise. I still want to fuck with you. When can you come and check your boy out? Boy out. And I was like, all right. So one of the producers named uh, uh, Bink out of VA, Bink the Monster, incredible producer, along with Mike and Keys out of SAC. They are working on an album, and uh, I think it's the Victory mm-hmm. Lap, and uh, it's, this, it's this song called Real Big. And then they was very fond of Roger Trotman in, in the talk box mm-hmm. from out of Dayton, Ohio. So he was like, man, can you, we don't know Teddy. We don't know Quick like that. You or that dude mm-hmm. on the West for us. Mm-hmm. You know, could you, you know, bring something to the table and come listen to the song and see if you can put some on that record. And I did. So I accompanied him and Marsha and, uh, and Brodus, uh, if that's her name. And, um, uh Marsha and uh and um Nipsey on that real big record and mm-hmm. it, it was a touching record. And then on the melodic and mm-hmm. the flow of it. So he wasn't there when I did the talk box. Everybody mm-hmm. there and they just, you know, losing their minds I'm bringing some some flavor to the shit. 